I've built a few music players recently using a Raspberry Pi and the Wolfson or Cirrus sound cards. These cards are inexpensive and have very good basic specs that should be capable of making use of high resolution 24-bit music sources. Whilst testing dynamic range recently I noticed that I couldn't play back a 24-bit test file at minus 100 dB. There was no output from the card which was somewhat perplexing. I created an amplitude sweep test file in order to evaluate what was happening and it appeared that the output was disappearing at minus 90 dB, leaving us, in effect, with a system with a lower dynamic range than CD. It turns out that there is a noise gate on the Wolfson card and this is set to minus 90 dB by default, which means any signal lower than that is effectively muted. This video shows the effect of this and how to adjust or disable the noise gate to get the full benefit of those high resolution sources. Here we show the effect of playing back our 24-bit amplitude sweep signal. Don't blink or you might miss what happens. As you can see the signal appears very briefly but disappears almost immediately. Let's try changing the Wolfson card's noise gate settings. In this instance, we'll set it to minus 96 dB. As you can see, the signal is visible for much longer but it still disappears well before we hit the noise floor of the system. Let's try disabling that noise gate completely. In this example you will see the signal is visible right up until the point we hit the noise floor. In effect, it's visible till about minus 113 dB, which actually ties up very closely with the specifications of the Wolfson DAC, showing that the Wolfson card is very well engineered and can make very good use of those high resolution signals. Thank you for watching.